things off with a special edition of Drew Love. All right, and we invited the best of the best dating, sex, and relationship gurus here to answer all of your burning questions. So let's meet them. Um, my dear friends from the Girls Gotta Eat podcast, hosts Raina Greenberg and Ashley Hesseltine are here. Uh -huh. And our resident Drew Crew dating expert, Demona Hoffman, is here. Hi, Demona. I am so excited. I've been fortunate enough to do his podcast. We've made friends over the years. He's someone I deeply respect, an international dating and confidence coach who's helped millions yes. of people, let alone women around the world. Matthew Hussey is here. Hi, Matthew. And, okay, ready for this? The OG of them all, renowned sex yeah. therapist, the one and only Dr. Ruth. Yeah. Is here. Yeah. Dr. Ruth. All right, yeah. well, let's get started. First, we have Tiani, and it's so funny because I gravitated towards you, you earlier, did. Tiani. So. You have a question for Raina and Ashley. Take it away, Tiana. Hi, everyone. How are you? So I'm someone I usually FaceTime. I investigate a guy before going out on a date with them. Do you guys think what I'm doing is okay, or should I change things up because I know it could take the spontaneity out of things? So you have to investigate. We're all doing it. We all are pre-stalking someone. I think you have to screen someone. I keep getting catfished with people's voices. So I'm trying to get a voice note from someone or find them on YouTube somehow. Pre-screening all day. We got to be safe out here in these streets. Yeah. Whatever makes you feel comfortable and safe and confident going into a date. So like Ashley said, if you need to pre-stalk, do that. For me, I don't want to sort of ruin the magic of like, let's get to know each other in person by having too long of a FaceTime. And I love a FaceTime, but after we meet each other. So mm -hmm. I don't want to like ruin all of the excitement that I could learn about you on the date ahead of time. Demona, what's your take? Well, I agree that you don't want to take the magic out of it, but I would say Girl, you a queen, and your time is very valuable. So the pre-screening will save you time in the end instead of just swipe, swipe, swiping, going right to the date. You got to know that somebody is worthy before you show up. Matthew, I'd love your take <laughs> on this. <laughs> the, uh, look, you're pre-screening because you don't want to waste your time. You can mitigate that by just having shorter dates. So instead of giving up an entire evening to see someone you don't even know you have a connection with, go for them, go for a coffee at lunchtime with them. FaceTime's not bad, but I wouldn't make a rule that stifles your love life. Okay. Uh, brilliant. And oh, don't even call it love life. <laughs> call it acquaintance. Oh. First you have to get to know. The word love, I want you to leave for me. <laughs> Never mind. I was just leaving you... sex for you. <laughs> talk about acquaintances. You talk about, and you have some very good points, about making a decision if that person has a chance with you or not. Mm. Uh, now, I know that if I would be much younger, I would have a chance with you. <laughs> I, know yeah. I know that. Right. However, I'm not going even to try. Not at my age. Right. I don't see a wedding band. I am engaged, though, Dr. Ruth. Oh, I t tell everybody that you're engaged. I, I am engaged. OK. <laughs> so hold on to her. So that next year, when we do another television, I want to see her with a wedding band. Right. OK. You will. Oh, I will. Yeah. Ah, OK. Well said. <laughs> Instead, I will see a wedding band. All this right. This has turned into you micromanaging my relationship. <laughs> Well, if someone's going to micromanage it, I would take it from Dr. Ruth. Rossi. <laughs> totally. Um, I'm here with uh, Mikhail. Hi, by the way. Hi. Uh, now, you have a question for Matthew? Yes. My question is, when dating, when is it the appropriate time to send those, you know, racy pictures, the thirst traps? Oh, a little sexting. How, how, how soon do we do that? I wouldn't send anything to anyone ever. <laughs> That you wouldn't that you wouldn't be happy to see online oh, someday. Oh yes, uh, I'm so, happy to see it all. You know, I think of photos like secrets. You wouldn't tell right. a friend a secret that you don't want out there if you're not sure that person's going to be your friend five years from now. Right. So 
I don't think, especially if someone's living in the same town as you, you don't need to send a sexy picture to keep their attention. If you think you do, then you've got to explore why that is. Ah. Right? Yeah. So if they're long distance ha- and you're not going to see them for a while and they're in your life, really in your life, then send them a sexy picture. I'm not talking about a naked picture because... No, don't a send suggestive, naked pictures. A suggestive... <laughs> <laughs> never. You don't know what life brings. And uh, never, never, ever to send a naked picture. You know, um, send a picture that looks like a passport picture. <laughs> a passport picture? <laughs> I didn't think oh, you were no. going to go to the other extreme. <laughs> I am, I'm old-fashioned and a square. <laughs> Send a picture that you don't mind if it's on the air. Right. That's yes, very right. smart. Raina and Ashley, thoughts? So I feel like it's not a rush. You don't need to send all these things right away. You can let the attraction kind of build. And I'm a big fan of the, like, subtle implied nude. Mm. So I like to imply that I have no clothes on. Maybe, like, you look in the mirror, you put a little blanket around yourself. They can see you have no bra on. But, yeah, your dad could also see that photo. You don't need to send everything right away. Um, You can save a little bit. And, yeah, take your time. All right. To all of you at home, you can join in on the Valentine's Day fun, too. Just head over to our Instagram and use our heart filter to show that you are single and ready to mingle. Ross? Yeah, all right. Well, coming up, will sleeping in separate bedrooms kill your sex life? Well, let's talk about that. Our experts are going to weigh in. Coming up. Hi, I'm Audrey. I've been married to Joe for 66 years. I'm Joe, and we met in high school. And as soon as we graduated, Joe got draft notice. And our parting words were, you do what you want in Germany, and I'll do what I want home. And when you get together, we won't tell each other. And it's worked. (laughs) And I guess she did that. I (laughs) know. The secret is that you got to get along with each other and take it day by day. (laughs) Okay. 